Hey guys, hello, welcome back to our channel that is seriously true. Guys, let me tell you one thing. Today's video is going to be really interesting. So watch the video till the end. Today's question is how do aquatic animals survive in frozen lakes? You must be wondering how, but we are going to tell you. Let's get started. Guys, in cold countries, when the temperature falls below the freezing point, water, lakes and rivers get frozen. Under such conditions, how do aquatic plants and animals survive? Generally, all liquids expand on heating, but water is an exception. At 0 degree centigrade, if water is heated gradually, its volume decreases and this contraction continues till the temperature rises to 4 degree centigrade. Above 4 degree centigrade, water starts expanding and keep on expanding with further rise in temperature. This shows that at 4 degree Celsius, the volume occupied by a given mass of water is minimum. In other words, the density of water at 4 degrees Celsius is maximum. This irregular expansion of water is known as anomalous expansion. This anomalous expansion of water plays an important role in nature. Due to this, only the upper layers of water in the ponds and lakes in cold countries get frozen. Lower layers remain as water and as a result, aquatic animals survive. In cold countries, during winters, when the atmospheric temperature temperature is very low, the upper layers of water in the lakes and ponds start cooling. When the temperature of the surface layer falls to 4 degrees Celsius, the water acquires maximum density and sinks down. The lower layers of water then rise up. This water also gets cooled to 4 degrees Celsius and again sinks down. The process continues till the temperature of the whole water falls to 4 degrees Celsius. As the temperature falls below 4 degrees Celsius, the density of water decreases and so water does not sink down. The surface water finally freezes while the lower layer remains at 4 degrees Celsius. As ice is a bad conductor of heat, freezing in the lower layers is a very slow process. Thus, underneath the frozen layer, fish and other aquatic animals and plants survive. Had the expansion of water been uniform, the lakes or ponds would have been completely frozen, along with aquatic plants and animals. In this situation, no plant and animals would have survived. So guys, this video is quite interesting. What do you think about it? Do let us know by commenting on the comment section. That's it for today's video. I hope you liked the video. If so, do click on the like button and do not forget to share as much as possible with your friends and family. If you are new to this channel, do press on the subscribe button and stay tuned. Keep watching Seriously True. We will be right back with an interesting video. Bye-bye.